Okay, people, so I'm changing up some shit here. Um, I've got some individual that's randomly going through my videos, just one after the other, after the other, after the other. I really don't even think they're watching them. But they're just clicking down the thumbs down. And then I've got people coming in that aren't even subscribed to my channel, which tells me it's probably the same individual, right? Or it's a very small group of individuals that are um, coming in as unsubscribed. Again, I'm thinking it's an individual that goes to different locations or wherever so the IP address can't be tracked, right? And just thumbing down these videos just because they're trying to distract people coming to the channel to pay attention to, to things that I'm talking about that are going out in our community. Now, I just got another phone call from Social Services, and they're, they're telling me I need to hand in some bank statements again because they want to monitor my spending habits. Something to do with something along those lines. And I said, well, I just did this in, 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 in December of this last year, in January. I just handed in a whole bunch of bank statements. And I was audited before that, right? Big audit. Like, I've done this like three times in the last two years. And again, they're doing, and oh, well, it's legislation, and da dee dee da and da And I said, well, why don't you people just get my bank statement month after month? You know, why do I have to hand in my bank statements every five? This is harassment. You know, I'm on persons with multiple barriers here, and, you know, I'm, I, family allowance is a federal, is a federal, um, you know, um, money that comes in to supplement the provincial money that the province doesn't give enough to the people to live on. It's given, you know, family allowance comes from the federal government to supplement, you know, the income of, of, of where children live, right? And, you know, that's, that's, that's non-exempt. Oh, yeah, well, you know, we just, we just want to make sure it's not sitting in the bank. I said, oh, so you're telling me that if I wouldn't have spent it, you wouldn't have given, she's saying, well, if, if you didn't spend it, you wouldn't have gotten the money, you wouldn't have gotten a welfare check for July if you hadn't spent your money from the federal government yet. So they're forcing you to spend money that the federal government gives you even though you might be trying to do something with it later on. Anyway, we live in a very corrupt society, people, like we really do. Um, the, the provincial government, a couple of years ago, before they took my grandson away from my daughter, uh, one time my daughter didn't get her family allowance in the mail from the federal government, and because she didn't put it down on her little welfare stub that she didn't get it, and then she got a double payment the following month, social services ended up the following month after that taking away that money that wasn't mailed to my daughter initially, Anyway, they changed that rule. They, they did their little money grab. They took their little money grab. They, they took all this money from the poorest of the poor in our province, from the children. They took the money away from the poor parents. They took the money away from the, from the, from the children as these checks weren't coming in and the people didn't know. And, and then they'd get the double check. They'd go off and they get caught up with their bills. And the next month they wouldn't get a welfare check because it was deducted. <laughs> and then they changed the legislation back to the way it used to be. So now you're allowed to keep your family allowance if you don't get it on month to month to month. Like in this case for myself, I didn't do my taxes for the year, right? So I got a lump sum and I paid off my kids what I owed them and I, you know, I bought some groceries and now I have to go show that I bought some meat, people. She said, well, you better save your receipts. What? To show you that I bought some meat? Well, you can go watch my videos, but pay attention to the thumbs down because there's somebody in there thumbing it down all the time. So that person that's thumbing it down, basically what you did, you're the rotten apple in the barrel. Because now I'm going to disable comments. I'm going to disable comments for a while and ratings and whatever it is. I don't know. You probably can still thumb down the video. And that's fine. You can thumb down the video because that's the only power that you have is to thumb down the video and to be on the... This is the best I can do. I can't really do much more because I'm impotent. I like to distract Judy from the real issues at hand, like the homelessness that we have out in the streets, because I really enjoy seeing those people suffer. And by heck or by hell, I'm going to make sure that they keep on suffering. And I don't care how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. This is the individual that you're dealing with, people, when you come into my channel and you see these thumbs down. you got someone there, well, you know, I, I really don't have a life, but this is the best that I can do, because I, I, 
I'm just kind of like something wrong with me, but I don't know what it is because it's everybody else's fucking problem. Anyway, it's stupid, people. It's stupid. How long am I going to keep commas disabled for? I don't know. You know, at least I go out and make videos. At least I put my face in front of the camera. At least I stand up for something. Huh? Right? Just remember that. So this little disclaimer, I think for every video that I create, I'm going to put this first.